It is an unusually gray and cloudy day here in, outside of Boulder, Colorado, but um, part of this building process, which will help on these days, um, you can see the thermal mass. You see the cement pour here, and then there's three inches of insulation. You have two inches of fast wall on each side. The advantage of this product is all the thermal mass is pushed to the interior side of the home. Again, which will work wonderfully with your, you know, in this weather right now, um, it will work great with your heating unit and maintain that warmth in the home. Um, it's just a, a very comfortable, uh, it's a wonderful product when it's done because the wall is vapor permeable, so you have great indoor air quality aspects. And with this thermal massing, just the heating and cooling loads are dramatically reduced. I mean, it's just, I've dealt with a lot of alternative building products um, over my building career, and this is by far my favorite product to use. Here you can see the exposed tubing. So um, this is called PEX. Um, it's running in the floor system, and this floor uh, is a minimum of four inches thick. So, and it has uh, foam insulation underneath the floor. So again, you gained the thermal mass of the floor. The heating system is heating this thermal mass, which really in conjunction is contacting the wall, and then you're getting this thermal mass in the wall heating up also. So you really get this sort of flywheel effect or like a, a battery that this will store the heat um, and sort of radiate it back into the room so your heating system just doesn't have to work as hard to heat the home. Also, what we do too is we'll put a slab sensor in the cement so these south facing windows, when the slab heats up, the sensor actually tells the heating system that, hey, the floor is pretty warm, you don't need to come on, you know, and then you don't get an overheat effect, you just get this smooth, even heat through all of the thermal massing with the floor system and the walls.